People seem to like the Would You Rather video that I posted somewhat recently, and I'm glad for that, and it seemed like people wanted to see more of that sort of thing. There's this other game called Will You Press the Button? Com that I haven't tried yet, and it doesn't seem as fun to me, it doesn't seem as interesting, but I'm gonna try it anyway because I haven't before, really. I've just seen a few of these questions and they're uh, underwhelming, but either way, um, I gotta leave to go to a sibling's place and help them move for the next week in about seven hours, and I wanted something to record and edit in that time that I could actually get out uh, without worrying too much, so this seemed like a good thing to record. Will you press the button if you gain the ability to, tel to teleport anywhere at any time, but every time you do teleport you have to use the restroom immediately? That seems like a good deal to me, because, I mean, teleportation isn't necessary to real life, and in the rare event that you would think it necessary, this doesn't seem like that bad a trade-off, so I'll press that button. Will you press the button if you can fly? But, you can only fly one meter off the ground. <laughs> Seems kind of pointless. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll press that, because there's no reason to. Will you press the button if you have the best collection of books in existence, but you can't talk? I don't really care about books that much, so I'm not going to press that button. People who love to read, maybe. I said I will not. Go for it. Will you press the button if you have become immune to all diseases, but a zombie apocalypse will occur immediately when you press the button as there is no way of stopping it? That seems like a really bad trade-off. Like, everyone dies, but you're okay. No. <laughs> That's, what kind of a question is that? Okay, 51% did not. That's, a, that's like a half-and-half half question. That surprises me. You are a famous YouTube mic spammer who everyone knows, and everyone buys you free games at any time you please. But, in every game you buy, no matter what you do, these fans follow you wherever you go, screaming for attention, you also hate your life. The you hate your life part automatically makes this a bad decision. I don't get the point of this. No. Like, these... Okay, 66% did not, that's still 34% of people clicked it. I'm just surprised... I'm, look, these questions surprise me. They seem like really obvious, not that great questions. You can teleport, but you can no longer enter airports. Nobody likes waiting in an airport. Of course I'll press that button. That seems... 7% of people didn't click it. That's not a great debate right there. Will you press the button if you will have the ability to make anything you want materialize in front of you, but you will be extremely nauseous and have a horrible headache that lasts all day after you make something appear? Mmm... It's just all day. That's not like a week, that's not a month, that's just a day. And... You can live life without this, but if you wanted anything that you could ask for, just... If you could make anything appear, that, that seems like a good deal to me. Because, like, one day out of all of existence. Will you press the button if everything you hear sounds beautiful, but you become fat? It doesn't say you permanently become fat. Then again, I like being able to discern between what's good or bad. So, I'm not going to press this button because I like being able to criticize things and create my own art accordingly, and that would include music and sound, so... I don't want everything to sound beautiful. Will you press the button if you get to live in your favorite show's universe and have any powers that the main character has, but there are no other people in said universe? That seems really pointless, because if you get to live there, that implies that you stay there for the rest of your life, kind of. And if there's no one else there, then there's no point in anything, because you have nobody to share it with. So I'm not going to press that button. That seems like no good. Will you press the button if you can choose to save the life of any loved one or friend at will, but they will no longer remember who you are? Well, if they really needed help, if they were really, like, their lives were really in danger, then if I could save them, that would be fine. Like, it's better than them dying. Will you press the button if you become Chuck Norris, or you are in the battle with Bruce Lee? Um... 
I don't really care to become Chuck Norris in reality, because I know that there are plenty of Chuck Norris jokes, and they're all about how perfect he is and how he can do the impossible, but I don't want people to just remember Chuck Norris for those jokes. I want to remember him as a person. Like, years from now, whenever he dies. No, Chuck Norris can't die! Uh, but anyways, like, I don't really want to be the guy who starred in Walker, Texas Ranger and fight Bruce Lee. That doesn't sound all that fun to me, so I will not do that. But 50% of people disagreed with me, so good on you guys. Well, you press the button if you can now read or can know. You can now read a control people's minds. But every time you use this power, you have a 10% chance of developing cluster headaches that disappear after 30 minutes. I don't care to read or control people's minds. That's not really my thing. Like, the controlling part adds another monkey into the wrench. <laughs> That's not a phrase. Um, that, like, if you could control world leaders' minds, um, like, and save the world that way, that would be interesting. And it would only be for 30 minutes. Like, if, if you could save the world by controlling people's minds like this, then that might be a good deal. So, sure, I'll press the button. Because you only get the cluster headaches for 30 minutes, that's, that's nothing. Will you press the button if you own all the games, but you can only own one console? Mmm, I like all of my various Nintendo consoles too much. And also PC, if you count that as a console, so... Nah. Will you press the button if you make the entire region a better place to be, and the lives of millions are improved, but you work extremely hard your whole life to achieve this and nobody ever thanks you not once? Hmm. Now this one's interesting to me. <laughs> the thing is, like, this is a question of will you press the button, not is it the right thing to press the button, or will someone else press the button? This is just me thinking personally for me. And, uh, I don't like the idea of working extremely hard my entire life and having no one thank me. And, uh, like, working really hard is just something in this sense, I don't think I could do, but I am working my whole life the way that I'm going, just at my own pace, trying to make the world in general a better place by making people happy and just trying to be a good influence, hopefully, which I'm still working on, but I would rather do what I'm doing now than this, I guess. Will you press it if you receive a large amount of any drug of your choice, but you only allowed to give it away with no profit? Who want... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people want drugs of any kind that they want. Not me, though. That's not something I care about, so... no. You gain ghost powers and can use them however you want, but another person gains ghost powers and becomes your rival. Fascinating. Okay, so... What constitutes as ghost powers? Like, you can phase through walls and become invisible? Um... Sure. But... If someone were to be my rival... If you just both happen to have the same power, like, what does that matter? Like, why would you care? I don't know. That, that seems like a kind of screwy question to me. I'll press the button. It doesn't seem like there's not really a reason not to. You discover a new species of animal and share it with the world, but it kills you a week later. That's a stupid deal. Why would you want to discover a new species that kills you? Like, sure, you get notoriety for discovering a new animal, but that's nothing compared to just not living all those years of your life that you might have. So no, I'm not gonna press that button. Stupid! Will you press the button if you get a million dollars a month, but you have to watch someone die a horrible, tragic death every month? Interesting! Okay, so, you will get a million dollars every month, but you have to watch a horrible death every month. I think I could handle watching a horrible death every month. Like, if it's just a natural thing, and if it wasn't done specifically for... Like, specifically because I was earning a million dollars a month. If I had to just watch that on TV, or even watch it in real life, like... If it was happening and it was out of my control, and it wasn't because of me, I think that there would not be much of a problem with that. I've seen footage of people actually dying in real life before, and it's not pleasant, but I could handle it. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, this this seems like a passable deal. Will you press the button if you become a master of any instrument you choose, but you cannot write your own music, must play other people's songs for the rest of your life? 
Well, the way I work now is that I can't play any instruments, but I write my own music, and that works just fine for me. And I would rather be able to write my own music than play an instrument. So, nah, I'm not going to press that button. I'm okay with using Fruity Loops. Will you press the button if you can meet any YouTuber you want, but you have to wear a chicken costume? <laughs> okay, you have to wear a chicken costume when you meet them. That sounds like an awesome de uh, deal. That's... Of course. I would love to meet, like, Markiplier, just walk up to him and say, Hey, how you doing? And then I would just have a chicken costume, and it would seem totally normal. Or just any other YouTuber, I guess. He's just the first one that comes to mind. Like, sure! Sounds great! Will you press the button if Pokémon are in real life, including all logic, technology, and Pokémon, but all animals in real life will be gone forever? Hmm... Well, a lot of Pokémon... Uh, kind of mimic real animals. And the thing about Pokémon, like... The issue with Pokémon is that it's hard to really apply Pokémon logic to real life, because because of things like Pikachu uses Supernova, and we don't want a Supernova in real life just by using a move with a Pokemon, but then in Pokemon it's just like, it makes a Pokemon faint. So as long as the animals just, or the Pokemon just fainted, then whatever, I don't see a problem with that, everyone's fine. Pokemon's a relatively harmless universe. Um, not to mention, like, new animals aren't made every day. A Pokemon, like, we get a bunch of new ones of those every few years, so... Yeah, I mean, I'll press it, why not? Will you press the button if you can teleport, but spiders can teleport too? <laughs> these questions are just funny to me. I think these are funnier than the Would You Rather ones, at least. I mean, I still think I might like Would You Rather more in terms of its setup, but... Eh... I mean... Considering that it's just me who can teleport, and it's also all spiders in existence who can teleport, nah, I don't want to press that button. Well, you press it if you have any superpower of your choosing, but you can only use it once a day. Having any superpower of your choosing and only being able to use it once a day is better than just not having a superpower. Yeah, why would anyone not press that? Will you press it if you become incredibly popular and liked in your workplace, but everyone gets your name wrong 100% of the time? Like, this isn't a problem, but I just don't know if I want to become incredibly pop popular and liked in my workplace. Not that I have a workplace yet, because I've never had a job, really, but... I just don't know if I would want to necessarily become the best person ever all the time without feeling like I've earned it. So, for that reason, I guess I won't press the button. I think it would just skew my perspective. Will you press it if you have become the healthiest perths, person, person on Earth, immune to all illness and disease? But you must watch the entirety of Groundhog Day once a day, every day, for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, okay, fun fact. I have the, uh... I have the alarm clock, like, opening radio message as my alarm clock on my phone. So, it does the whole you put your little hand in mine, and it goes through the whole thing of, okay campers, rise and shine and all that stuff. Like, that's my alarm clock. So, I think watching the entirety of Groundhog once a day wouldn't be so bad. But then again, I don't really care if I'm the healthiest person on Earth. So the trade-off is do I want to waste, like, an hour and a half of my day every day watching a really good movie, but not one that I would want to watch every day of my life, probably. Eh, ultimately, probably wouldn't do this, but it wouldn't be the worst fate in the world. Will you press it if you become the most beautiful, richest, smartest, most loved person ever, but you are blind, deaf, and can no longer walk? That's a terrible deal! That's a, that's a terrible deal, no? Okay, I've been searching for a while trying to find a question to end this on that I think is any good and I haven't found one, so I'm just going to leave off with Will you press the button if you become immortal, but your body still ages and you have to harvest fresh body parts from people? And I think the, the, the bigger part of this question is Will you press the button if you want to become immortal? Like, do you have an interest in being immortal? Pick whichever one you want, I'm just going to lightly tap the very top of this button over and over again and, uh, what do you feel about some of the other questions that have already been asked in the video? I mean, maybe you might press the button on one of those that I didn't. I don't know.
yeah, we'll just leave it there. So thank you all very much for watching. I'm going to edit this and probably go to bed. Goodbye.